Hi again guys, and welcome to, of course, another speed build for Forza Horizon 4 in particular. This time, a car that's pretty much always popular, and for obvious reasons, great track car, great drag car, great top speed car, and also really good value as well. The Viper ACR of the SRT10, the slightly previous generation, in other words. The newer one's okay, but this one's kind of the big dog when it comes to the Vipers in the game, or actually in any game that features it, really. As far as upgrades go, if I recall correctly, I think this one might have a V12 swap, but I can't remember exactly what the engine is, but it's whichever one gives you the most power. So, yeah, it's not difficult to work out, obviously. As far as the performance, with racing tyres instead of drag tyres, with all of the parts fitted, of course, as high as power as you can get, drop the weight, brakes, suspension, all that kind of good racing stuff, I've left the rear wing on there, mainly for the appearance, so with all of that applied, you're looking at 1.7 seconds to 60, 3.7 to 100, 268 flat out. So pretty good specs, very healthy across the board. Plus, of course, you have to factor in that like the Mono, like the Radical, the Viper ACR is one of those cars which has a very healthy dose of really, really strong handling as well as just great straight line speed. That's, of course, one of the reasons why it's so good. As far as the gearing the transmission, the gearbox, whatever you want to refer to it as. For the final drive, we've got 3.35. Then for the individual gears, 2.9, 1.8, 1.4, 1.14, 0.95, and 0.77. Then as far as alignment, I do have all-wheel drive, so we've got neutral camber, neutral toe. Of course, you don't have to fit all-wheel drive if you don't want to, but you will be slower off the line, etc. We've got four degrees of caster. As I always say, you can adjust any of this if you feel necessary for your personal driving style. As far as anti-roll, we've got those on 40 and 25. Springs on 110, 125, and then the lowest possible ride height. Dampers on 10, 11, and 5. Aero, you definitely want set as low as possible if you do decide to keep the rear wing. I would not recommend fitting the racing ones, though, because they're just unnecessary. And as far as the diff, I've got 100% on acceleration, as usual, 0 for decel, and a 75% split for this particular car. And as I always say, feel free to change any of these settings if you want to try something different, if you already know something that works better for you in any particular way. So that's it for the tune. Of course it is on my storefront. If memory serves, I think I might have done one for both uh, X-Class and S2. I'm pretty sure I did one for both. So if you use the keywords in the description or use my gamertag, you should be able to find those pretty easily. Or of course you could copy this and alter it yourself for S2 if you wanted to. But of course, what you want to see, as always, is how quick can this thing actually go. Now, as you can see from the gameplay here, one of the best points about the Viper is that in a similar way to cars that I've mentioned before, like the Mono, like the Radical, and others too as well, but especially Track Day toys in particular, one of the biggest single advantages that they have is that top speed handling. They can not only go really quick, like Veyron territory, Koenigsegg territory in some cases, but they can usually corner much more sharply than those cars can. Now if you find that this one doesn't corner quite as sharply as you want, you could try putting up the center split to say 80% instead of 75, or if you find it not tight enough, not heavy enough for your liking, which I can understand that point of view, then of course you could change it to 70% instead. Or, of course, if you want it to be quicker off the line, slap the drag tyres on it instead. But either way, if you want to go for one of my storefront tunes for ease of use, because you don't have to do anything then, or if you want to copy this yourself, either way, I hope you have a ton of fun with it. You will win plenty of races with it. And that's it for this build, so click here on screen to see all of my others. Check out my storefront for loads of tunes that aren't even on YouTube yet. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.